What up, and what's poppin'? It's your dog Breeze from Fahrenheit 451, part of the 4th and Go Network. We're running the books alive, 4-1 and one on yesterday's picks. Maxi Kleber, count your days. Back with my best bets in the NBA for February 9th. First up, <clears throat> give me Onyeka Okongwu of the Atlanta Hawks, over 13.5 points. 15, shop around and get your best line. 15, 22, 18, and 19 points in his last four games. Philly gives up the seventh most points to centers. He had 19 points the last game that he played Philly. Next up, same game, same, same. Jalen Johnson of the Atlanta Hawks. Shop around and get your best line. Over nine and a half rebounds. Philly gives up the 10th most rebounds to power forwards. He's had 11 rebounds or more in his last four out of five games. 10 and 16 rebounds in his last two games versus Philly. Next, the same Jalen Johnson from the same Atlanta Hawks. Over 15 and a half points. Shop around and get your best line. He's hit this line in the last eight out of 10 games with 18 and 25 in the last two versus Philly. There's no Embiid today, so I just love all three of these lines even more. Couldn't talk you off of the Okongu double-double or the Jalen Johnson double-double. <clears throat> same game, same, same. Trey Young of the Atlanta Hawks. This is going to be a lean. Over 10.5 assists. Shop around and get your best line. Hit this line in the last 7 out of 10 games. 20, 13, and 11 assists in his last three games versus Philly. The only reason I'm making this a lean is because DeJounte Murray is questionable. And in games where DeJounte Murray isn't present, um, his assist numbers aren't the best. All right. Next up, RJ Barrett of the Toronto Raptors. Over five and a half rebounds. Shop around and get your best line. RJ Barrett is playing basketball again, so we can bet on his rebounds again. Houston gives up the second most rebounds to shooting guards. He hit this line in the last eight out of ten. Let's keep it moving. <clears throat> the New Orleans Pelicans at an alternate spread of minus one and a half, minus 130 over on FanDuel. The Lakers are two and six with zero rest this season. So on the second leg of back-to-backs, the Lakers are two and six this season. They're one and seven on the spread. <clears throat> Lakers are two and six with zero days rest, including a loss to the Pelicans with zero days rest on December 31st, 2023. So I look for the Pels to just keep doing what they've been doing. Um, I don't know if D'Angelo Russell is playing today. That's not going to help the Lakers. But I just look for the, you know, the, I look for New Orleans to beat L.A. again. Um, with their aging roster, um, with no rest. All right. Last but not least, the Atlanta Hawks money line. Uh, got that at minus one thirty four odds over on FanDuel. All right. So to recap, Onyeka Okongwu over fourteen points. Jalen Johnson over ten rebounds and over sixteen points. Trey Young as a lean over eleven assists. RJ Barrett, six rebounds or more. New Orleans Pelicans, minus one and a half on the alternate spread. And the Atlanta Hawks money line. Like, comment, and subscribe for your daily sports betting videos and analysis. Let's keep burning them as always. I will see you tomorrow, but you don't have to wait till tomorrow. Parlays, builders, be over on Twitter. Don't meet me there. Beat me there.